The reason for me to present here this year at ERA 2018 was to talk about the important clinical problem of non-response to cardiac resynchronization therapy. Uh, it's quite well known that uh, about 30 to 50 percent of the patients nowadays do not respond to this invasive and expensive therapy. So from an engineering perspective, I believe this is due to the heavily reliance of the, cardi of the guidelines on electrocardiographic uh, indices. Um, since 10 years, we are able to image the deformation of the heart regionally, and uh, I believe now we understand this modality using echocardiography or MRI, we understand those signals in a much better way than 10 years ago, and I think now it's time to add them to the arsenal for uh, assessing a patient's pathophysiology and to judge whether this patient is going to benefit from an electrical therapy or not. Actually, um, the deformation locally depends on two things. It's the moment of activation electrically, but also its inherent viability and the quality of the tissue to contract. Nowadays, using computer modeling, we can relate the two modalities and actually calculate the uh, potential of this tissue to respond favorably to a resynchronization. So this is a much more integrative uh, assessment that is uh, done so far. Um, and I really believe that we should head to this integrative assessment using both electrical and mechanical measurements because in the end the heart remains a pump and not necessarily only an electrical organ. So therefore I think um, um, those uh, echocardiographic or MRI assessments together with an ECG can lead in the next 10 years to new guideline criteria that may be better than the current ones and could take away some of the doubts that current implanting cardiologists have nowadays.